this question we're told to evaluate this integral. So the square root rather confuses things, so let's try and get rid of it. Let's try and turn what's inside the square root into something squared. So first, if you note that x to the 4 is x squared squared, and a to the 4 over x to the 4 is a squared over x squared, all squared. And also, x squared times a squared over x squared is just a squared. So our integral, if I call this integral i, then our integral becomes this. And now we can see we can factorize the inside into x squared plus a squared over x squared, all squared. And so we have a square and a square root. So what we're really integrating is x squared plus a squared over x squared. Okay, so you might think that this now looks like something we can integrate. But let's think a bit more about the function we've been given, this x squared plus a squared over x squared. So if we think about what our function looks like, then it's going to take this sort of a shape. And we can see that at x equals 0, it goes shooting off to infinity. So this thing that we're trying to integrate isn't actually defined at x equals 0, um, which you can tell because we're dividing by x squared here, so when x is 0, we'd be dividing by 0, and that doesn't make sense. But also, the interval that we're integrating over minus a to a, well, 0 lies in that interval. So our function isn't defined for the whole interval that we're trying to integrate over, and therefore this integral actually is not defined. So it's a bit of a trick question. The answer is actually e. So always remember, if you're dividing by x, then always make sure that you're not dividing by 0.